good morning welcome back to the channel we're uh we're salmon fishing again you know it's uh october 31st and if you know what that means you know the river closes uh today's the last day we can fish this upper section it's a sad day you know but you know it is what it is you know this is what ha has to happen for you know the fish to, to spawn you know successfully you know and you know be able to always a lot of these fish are going to go to the hatchery anyway to the hatchery's going to do their thing and spawn these fish my thoughts for kind of today is it's probably not going to be that great um we've had no weather tomorrow though tomorrow's supposed to be 100 percent chance of rain so that's that's looking good that's gonna probably gonna push some fish into the system obviously it's a, we're a day behind you know day sh one day short so that will bring a lot of fish up um but today i guarantee you if we do catch catch a couple the fisher will be dark you know and then and, and this that's how it is when you don't have any have any rain you know if you don't have consistent rain just the the fish are just they're not pushing through um i guarantee you there's a lot of fish sitting out you know in the ocean still um in the bay you know i know some of you are thinking like what do you mean isn't like the end of the end of the season like this you know why why would there be fish pushing up still um you know i get a lot of questions at fishermen's i hear a lot you know and it just for a lot of people salmon season has not been good for them kyle's been catching them every day you know i just think it's location you gotta put in your time you know i think you put in your time and uh, you're gonna get fish you know and, and and kyle and i both been on the river you know a lot since we were real young so we uh, we have an understanding of how these fish how these fish work and, and you know where they where they like to hold up at and, and stuff like that so that's why i think you know that's why we've been catching fish almost every trip you know because like i said i hear people come into the store you know at fisherman's warehouse and we're talking we're talking salmon fishing and they uh they haven't caught a fish all year so you know like i said kyle and i have put in our time over the years you know fish this river since we were really young so we we have an idea where these fish like to hold and, and whatnot so um looking forward to getting out there and uh you know hopefully catching a couple fish you know it's it's definitely a different a different pace than like salmon or uh than like bass fishing you know bass fishing it's you're always adapting always changing always you know techniques you know you have multiple rods on the on the deck of the boat but salmon fishing you only got a couple techniques you know and you just try to get those techniques to to go you know might have to change up color every once in a while but you know the for the most part you're running plugs or spinners or or row you know three techniques that that catch these things um it's just a little different a little slower applications you know just little, um taking your time through some of these holes you know with bass fishing it's like for me it's always go 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 because there's always like there's always been money on the line you know always trying to figure them out trying to piece the puzzle together salmon salmon fishing is a little different you know like i said it's you're still trying to piece the puzzle together trying to figure out what these fish want you know we'll see how today goes I mean, you know, looking forward to like i said looking forward to getting out here and seeing what happens seeing how the day plays out so kyle is going to meet me here he'll probably be here pretty soon so we'll probably get this boat in the water here in the next 20 minutes or so and wait until day daylight to send some of these plugs back so anyway stay tuned and uh, hopefully we get a couple Reel them up and try this one more time. And then, uh, I don't know. Man. Hey, how much business are you getting though? I don't know. It's fine, man. I got you. It sits in the wrong hole. You got red buff, Yeah. Oh, yeah, airborne. Oops. Well, a little midday update. Uh, it's been very slow, kind of like what I thought earlier this morning. Um, you know, we've had no weather, like I said, and without the weather, fish, new fish aren't going to come into the system. So whatever fish have been here, been around for a while. Um, they've seen, <laughs> they read the book. Let me tell you, I think they know all the tricks. They know how to swerve our plugs <laughs> and everyone else's plugs. We only saw, what, one fish get hooked this morning? One fish get hooked. Um, and then we saw a guy uh, flossing, flossing, and it hook up, you know, hook up for a little bit and it popped off. 
but man we only got a couple more spots left and, um, i'm not feeling too confident you know i mean yeah we do have some cloud cover which you know should get those fish to bite you know keep them biting all day long stupid gopro is always dying on me i don't know what you guys heard um but yeah i mean we only got a couple more spots left you know we're gonna hit it hard and hopefully get one um i don't know how would how you feel kyle I don't know i feel like it's it can be weird sometimes you know you mm -hmm. fish a couple holes and nothing you slide around one corner and you find some fish that want to bite so yeah. i'm just kind of hoping that ends up being the case and we'll fish hard and see how it goes yeah so and anyway we're gonna we're gonna fish hard to the last minute and hopefully put one in the boat so uh stay tuned maybe we'll get the the net slimy Are you off there? You got him? Oh! Set the hook on it, man. Well, you already had it. He was already oh, buried. Oh, and I just okay. feel like leaned into it. Gotcha. There's a bite. Yep, there's one bite. One bite. Jeez. About time. One just took, <laughs> took us all day to get it. And I screwed it's it up. Only, it's only this guy. I mean, this guy screwed up. Screwed it that one up. I should have taken a little bit more before I leaned into it, but I felt like you had the rod doubled. short strikes. Dang it, dang it, dang it. If we get another one on that one out, so I definitely put another something else on, you know what I mean? Another way. Pulling, getting right on top of them, you know what I mean? You just get smoked. Yeah, I just got smoked, dude. I didn't want to set the hook. Yeah, no, you're good. Now I'm wobbling good. There you go. Oh, you saw that? I did just now. I was watching the tip of your Oh, oh, what? I did just now. I was watching the video. Oh, oh, <laughs> it is not big at all but finally finally put one in the freaking boat man lose a few number one man not bad looking fish oh we're gonna look at, let this one go Yeah, you want to go. There's nothing to do there. He said, nobody, take your hands off of me. Yeah, he did not want to touch. <laughs> I tried to get a nice release, but he didn't want anything to do with it. You already got Do it again. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Finally, <laughs> dude. Just all day. Just all day. All day. Freaking 11.54. 11.54, finally got our first one in the boat. Well, probably 11.50, but still, still. 
Seven. And that was, dude, we should have almost had a double right wow, there. Back to back, I watched it when we yep. home. Dude, that was cool. You want to row us up on this one? Yeah. It was just like, I was really in no line. No line was freaking lightning. I got the hook on It kind of looked like it. Other than what's right in front of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he pulled it. Gosh dang it. So he popped it too. He must have been following behind it. Because as soon as I like twitched it, as soon as I popped it up, he pulled down. There he is again. Gosh. Yeah, of course. You suck. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I felt like I did that so nice, nicely. And it was like, run, run, run. Okay, I put it down. Grab the net. Dunk. Do you see it? The nice one? It's a wrap for the season. We're uh, we suck today, dude. <laughs> Straight up, we suck. Yeah. You know, one for six. Uh, that's not good. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, a lot of short strikes. Yeah, man. a lot of short strikes. These yeah. weren't eating it that great. I don't know what it was. You know, I don't know if it was the color. You know, the cloud cover. Who knows? But you know, you you said like this whole week, the last couple, or actually last couple weeks, you had a lot of fish short striking too. Yeah, a lot of fish barely hooked. I mean, you know, just coming up and swiping at it, you know, and sometimes just getting a takedown, and then within the first couple seconds, it's gone. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some of them getting close to the boat and just popping off, you know, just having one of those troubles in their mouth. And, you know, hey, sometimes you can't win them all. That's nope. for sure. Nope, we can't. So, glad, you know, the season's over with. You know, I mean, for the, we'll, upper. Uh, for the upper, you know, I mean, the season's not over with, but, you know, we won't be able to fish this, you know, for salmon until July 16th of next year, you know, so um, who knows when, you know, where we'll be at that time if we're going to be fishing the, the sack or the, the feather or, you know, the American, who knows, you know, it depends on what river has the most water, you know, who knows, maybe they'll close salmon season next year, you know, it's the future is, uh, you know, no one knows what the future holds. So, I don't know. I, I think, uh, regardless, we we got one today. So, pretty stoked about it. Um, at least we didn't go skunked. You know, we had the opportunities. We put one in the boat. Very happy with it. So, it wasn't a giant one, but you know, it was a fish. It was a uh, wasn't a bad looking fish. A little little jack, but at least we got one. It, was, it wasn't even net worthy. It wasn't even it wasn't worthy to slime up the net. So, just grabbed the line and flung it in the boat but uh yeah i think that's it i think i'm gonna wrap it up right here are you gonna be guiding much more the, the season or yeah until about the first week of december um i'll i do have a handful of available uh available dates um between now and the first week of december so uh if you want to get out give me a buzz uh buy me baits guide service uh all the link or all the description and everything will be in a link at the bottom mm -hmm. so uh, feel free to give me a call if you want to get out yep i'll definitely put in the in the description so uh stay tuned maybe we'll have another video soon but i honestly doubt it that we'll be filming for for salmon the rest of the year um you know so i'll be bass fishing quite a bit and then steelhead's still it's january 1st so be focused on steelhead 
um, after January. So anyway, hope you guys liked the video. You know, drop a comment, like the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.